Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Okay, so today I'm taking a look at Mezco Designer Series new Michael Myers from Halloween 1978. Now I don't know too much about Mezco's Designer Series. This is actually the first one I've ever picked up. So I was a little hesitant when I saw the pictures. I wasn't sure what I think about the uh, disproportionate Michael Myers, but getting them in my hands, he's actually pretty cool. So let's check out the box, then I'm gonna take them out. Let's go. All right, there we see Michael Myers in the box. Uh, no artwork or anything like that on the front except for the Halloween font on the bottom. But you see what I mean when I said that I wasn't sure what to expect if I've never owned a uh, Mezco Designer Series before. Um, it's definitely not the normal looking Michael Myers, but I actually kind of dig it. And uh, I'll show you why when I take him out of the box. But then, turn to the side. A very nice close-up product shot of the mask. Then we turn it to the other side and then we have another really awesome product shot of Michael Myers with that kitchen knife. And then we turn it to the back and we have some more really cool shots of Michael Myers and there's that jack-o-lantern from uh, Halloween 1978 that actually comes in this package. But that's enough of the box. Let's take them out. All right, so just like a lot of NECA figures, it does come with this cardboard backdrop. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this has to do with Halloween. Uh, maybe this is like a, a padded cell or something, which that probably is, but um, I'm not exactly sure. It's still kind of cool looking though. A little bit thicker cardboard than what I'm used to with NECA. All right, so here we have Mezco Designer Series, Michael Myers, 1978, out of the box. I'm just gonna give you a quick look at him, real quick. But I'm gonna put him off to the side. And let's check out these accessories first. So here's the jack-o'-lantern that you see in the intro to the 1978 Halloween film. And this is actually pretty cool. This is a really nice sculpt from Mezco, which um, from all the Mezco stuff that I have, which isn't a lot, everything that I get from them is pretty quality stuff. They're a little more expensive than NECA, of course, but you get what you pay for, for sure. Now, as cool as this jack-o'-lantern is, I kinda wish he lit up. They missed a pretty good opportunity by putting a little LED and having it flicker inside there, kinda like NECA did with their um, Michael Myers Halloween remake jack-o'-lantern, which was awesome. But that's nitpicking. Uh, this is really cool. Let me put that off to the side. Actually, let me put that in front of Myers. And now let's move on to Michael Myers' weapon of choice, and that is the standard kitchen knife. So taking a look at it, it's actually a really nice accessory. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the clean looking weapons from our slasher characters. I kind of wish they put a little bit of blood or a little bit of wear on this kitchen knife to make it look used. I see that far too often. I'm just sick of seeing it. I just put some blood on there, guys. But the handle looks really nice. Really nice detail there. If my camera will pick it up. There we go. So that's pretty cool. And then the only other accessory that it comes with is this extra hand. And um, it's a really nice looking hand. It's kind of oversized like everything else on this Myers character. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, you can see the nice sculpt on it. And it's an open hand, so I'm guessing with this other open hand, he can put this on and he can hold the jack-o'-lantern. And now, on to Michael Myers. So, it's a really close-up look of this mask. And this is a really cool looking mask. As you can see, it looks just like the mask from 78. Um, I really like these cheekbones. I like the just expressionless look that he has here. But one thing I don't like are these eyes. Um, they have it all painted black, which I get it. You know, Michael Myers, you rarely saw his eyes in the film. Um, even Dr. Loomis says he has the blackest eyes, whatever. Um, there's a couple of things I wish they would have done instead. If you're gonna do this, um, I wouldn't even put any kind of skin color or flesh color in there. I would have just, don't even give me an eye sculpt. You know, I wish they would just have the mask and not even be able to see that sculpt at all in there. I don't want to see the eyes at all because it looks kind of weird, see? It looks like his whole face is painted black 
with the black eyes. And it looks kind of weird. Other than that, everything else is fantastic. Look at his hair. The detail and just the way they made it messy on the back of his mask looks great. Look at this, got these little pieces that stick out here. This is incredible. Usually when you see a Michael Myers mask, um, it doesn't have any texture. It's just kind of flat looking, kind of plain. Um, like I said before, I wasn't really sure what to expect with this Mezco designer series because this is my first one. And I'm actually really impressed. I'm gonna keep getting these. And also, let me just say, he has some weight to him. This thing's kind of hefty for a small character. There's some mass, it just feels very substantial, which kind of equates to him standing just sturdy. Look how sturdy, I mean, I don't even have to do anything. I know he doesn't have any um, articulation in his legs, so it's really easy to stand, but as soon as you put him down, boom. As we move down from the mask, we go down to his coveralls, and these look pretty cool. Of course, it's all molded plastic. There's no soft plastic or anything like that. It's all hard plastic. And then you can see what it looks like in the back. You got this belt, and he does have some articulation, but we will get to that shortly. And then we go down to his giant clod hoppers down here, his boots, and they look pretty cool. Um, actually has some traction down there. All right, so speaking of his hands, here's his interchangeable hand, and this would go in his knife holding hand, but you can see, I really like the proportions that they have here. They're kind of oversized hands, but they just work with this character. It looks really cool, especially with this big head that he has going on here with these big hands and big boots. Um, I was expecting more like a bobblehead, but it's not what this is at all. It's actually pretty damn cool. All right, so articulation. One of my favorite things about this and what I was not expecting is how great the movement is in this guy's head. There is a really smooth ball joint in there. And it's the first thing I noticed when I took this guy out. I'm like, oh my God. It feels so good to move this guy's head around. It sounds weird to say that. If you guys have him, you know what I'm talking about. So, of course, we have the ball joint, and then we can look down about to right there. We can look up to about right there, and then we can get that nice head tilt that he does in the movie, and that was one of the things that I noticed right away. I'm like, oh, cool, look what he can do. Nice. And then, of course, we can spin his head all the way around exorcist style let's go down to his shoulders we do have a ball joint in both of his shoulders so we get an up down forward and backwards movement on both and then we can get a nice arm extension as so so we don't have a joint in his elbow there's kind of a swivel so you can see what i'm talking about i can't bend his elbow traditionally so it kind of rotates and swivels as you can see to get the right position you're looking for so once you get that position you just move the wrist and there you go. Which is a pretty cool solution. I'm just not used to it. I'm used to having a hinge there. But um, this actually works pretty nice. So as I showed you before, we do have a ball joint in his waist. So we get some movement forward and backwards and left and right. Can we turn them all the way around? We can. There you go. We do not have any hinges or anything like that in his knees. But then when we go down to his feet, um, we do have... A little bit of movement left and right. Can we go up and down? We cannot. Wait a minute. No, we can't. That's just loose. So we can go left and right and that's it. And there I have Michael Myers with his kitchen knife in his hand. That's pretty cool. And this is what I'm talking about when I say about the swivel elbow. You can kind of put it in any position you want to. This is pretty cool actually. I don't mind the swivel elbow at all with trying to pose him. It actually works nice. And here he is holding his jack-o'-lantern. I took out the knife hand and I put in the open palmed interchangeable hand. And uh, yeah, it works pretty good. So you can see he's holding his jack-o'-lantern like you've never seen him do in a movie. And changing out his hand is really easy. That's all it is, just a little peg hole. And there's the peg. And there's this knife hand that I'm gonna put back in and look at that, it's super easy to interchange his hands. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of Mezco designer series, Michael Myers from Halloween 1978? I'm pleasantly surprised. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I wasn't sure what to expect. I just pre-ordered this guy, wasn't really sure what he was gonna look like. 
the product photos were kind of like, is he a bobblehead? I don't know. But taking him out of the box and seeing the quality of this character for myself, I'm sold and I'm just gonna keep getting these Mezco Designer Series figures. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!